Hey guys, Nurse Fahrenheit here. It is Wednesday, so you know what that means. It is Wellness Wednesdays. Make sure you have your notifications on because I'll be posting a video every single Wednesday. Also, make sure you subscribe below. All right, so you know I couldn't have let October go by without doing a video on breast cancer. It is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, so I'm gonna be talking about how to do a breast self-exam. All adult women are encouraged to do self-breast examinations every single month. And if you're still getting your period, you should do it two or three days after your period because you know we get some swelling and we get some soreness in that area. John Hopkins Medical Center states that 40% of diagnosed breast cancers are detected by women who simply just feel a lump when they're searching in that area. Mammograms can help detect breast cancer before you feel a lump, but it is always good to be familiar with how your breasts feel and look. So if you do notice any changes, you can notify your doctor immediately. So before we talk about the breast self-examination, I just wanna let you guys know out there that you guys can get breast cancer too. So make sure you are taking notes on how to do a self breast exam. So you guys may ask, how do I do a self breast examination? There are three different ways that you can do it. You can do it in the shower, you can do it in front of a mirror, or you can do it while lying down. So if you are gonna do the breast self exam in the shower, you're gonna wanna do it while you already have soap so it's easy to move around. And also you're gonna wanna use the fingertips, or the pads of your fingertips, okay? So you're gonna wanna start with your armpit up, you're gonna wanna fill your armpit area as well and then move in a circular motion, feeling for any lumps, any hardening, or any type of other skin changes. If you are gonna do this in front of the mirror, what you're gonna to wanna to do is start by putting your hands by your side. Then you're gonna to wanna to raise your hands up high. And what you are looking for is any swelling, any nipple changes, or any dimpling. Also, you're gonna to wanna to put your hands on your hip, and then you're gonna to wanna to press down firmly. You're gonna be looking for any changes in this position as well. All right, guys, so the last way is if you wanna lie down, by lying down, the breast tissue actually spreads more easily this way. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna place a pillow under the shoulder on the side that you're examining. So say you're examining your left side. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna put the pillow under your left shoulder, then you're gonna wanna put your left arm behind your head, and you're gonna wanna use your right hand to examine. Make sure you use light, medium pressure when you are checking your breast, but also you're gonna to wanna to make sure, this is very important guys, make sure you squeeze your nipple because you wanna see if any discharge comes out. So there are three different techniques that you can use when you are filling your breasts, okay? The first is you're gonna to wanna to start from the top going down. So this is called the, the lines pattern. So you can go up and down, okay? The second way is in a circular motion. So you're gonna to wanna to start going from the outside of the breast and then you're gonna work your way inwards towards the nipple. The other way is the wedge way. You're gonna to wanna to start near the armpit and then you're gonna to wanna to move out. So you're gonna be going on the outer side, then you're gonna be going in and then in. Okay, so make sure you guys are using medium light pressure. Okay, make sure you are using your fingertips. And an important, important, important fact, okay? Just because you find a lump, it does not mean that you have breast cancer, but definitely always notify your doctor of any changes. You want to be safe, then sorry, okay guys? All right guys, so remember to do your breast self exams every single month. Put it in your calendar, put it in your phone, make a reminder in your phone, whatever you have to do, make sure you get it done because it's better to be safe than sorry, okay guys? I'm Nurse Fahrenheit. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you turn the notifications on. Make sure you follow, subscribe below. Make sure you follow us at Best Damn Self on Instagram and follow me, Nurse Fahrenheit, at Nurse Fahrenheit. Signing out.